that one keyword that we always have during our class, whether it's a yoga class or meditation class. What is that keyword? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me? What is that keyword? So the awareness is the key. In one single session, I would maybe take the awareness 100 times, you know? Whether we are moving toes, I say be aware. Moving ankle, I say aware. Moving knees, aware. Every single muscle you move, you are aware. So the awareness is key during the practice. We are aware of the organs. We are aware of the things which are happening at the mental level. We are aware of the things which are happening during the class at the emotional level. We are aware of the things which are happening at the pranic level. We are aware of the things which are happening at the spiritual level. We are becoming more and more aware of everything. And awareness is the tool of the consciousness. That today, I, during the meditation, I mentioned no, the breath in the form of air and the or consciousness in the form of awareness. So as we are more and more aware during our asana practice, pranayam practice, meditation practice, this entire six days, we are more and more aware so then what does it do? What, what happens? What is the end result? That we become more aware in our day-to-day -day life. So this 75 minutes or 90 minutes of awareness extends to other 23 hours. Now we are more aware when we talk. You're speaking, you're aware. Now you're more wise while talking. Now the things which will come out of your mouth will not be to disturb anybody's mind will not be to affect anybody now you have control sanyam restraint over your tongue while speaking you become more aware so where does it impact your interpersonal relationship improves as you're being aware of your talking what else happens when you're eating you become more aware that whether it is good for me or not, whether it is only a uh, tasty material or tasty stuff, tasty food for me, or it has some nutritious value also for me. You become more aware when you are aware during your class. So awareness extends everywhere in all sphere of our life. Now you start eating less, you know, you know that when you're aware, then you would not eat more. The people who are in depression, they eat more and they become fat, you know? Why? Because they have no control over their mind. They're not aware. So the moment we become more aware, now the eating pattern improves. Now you have a food on time. While eating also you become aware. So it impacts your digestion, your digestive system improves. So you can see that being aware impacts our day-to-day -day life. Your interpersonal relationship will improve, your digestion will improve, and this being more and more aware is nothing but it is a form of meditation. Today we did Ajipajap with Soham. That is a passive meditation, that you are sitting, you are meditating, but when you are in action and you are being aware, that is the process of active meditation. So the active helps you in passive and passive makes you more aware in your day-to-day -day life and you become an active meditator also. So in our life, we should have a combination of both meditation, the active one and the passive one both for the growth and for the fast growth, for the fast growth. Imagine that one day you become aware all 23 hours during the day. Is it possible? It's not possible. We are aware for one minute, two minutes, maybe seconds initially, few seconds, and then we forget about that awareness part. So the, we need to try always you're moving the body, be aware. You're eating, be aware. That's why I say during this class, especially right from the first one, when we move up for the Tarasana, we try to be more aware. 
So this entire session is meditation and then rest of your activities should also become meditation, the active meditation, meditation in action, awareness in action, and you will see the impact matter of few weeks to a month, you will get enlightened, but that's not the purpose. You will become more happy. You will become more healthy. You will have a joy and contentment in your life. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.